What's up everyone, Derek here with a quick switch demonstration on something we discovered about the system. And it's not entirely useful, but it is kind of interesting and kind of cool on its own. So one of the things we decided to do was mess around with the USB ports on the system, especially well when docked, since you can't actually access the USB ports when not docked. Anyway, what we did, and I'll go there now, is go to the album, choose one of the uh, photos we took, I'm not a few from Zelda, most of, most of them by accident, uh, hit OK, and go to editing and posting. And once we go to add text, you know, we can add text to the system. Now, usually you have to use your controller or whatever and choose each one individually. But I hooked up my wireless keyboard and, and put that into the USB slot. And I actually have my keyboard right here. And as you can see, I am typing. So let me just do this actually. Hello, everybody. Nice, quick, easy, and you can really get post in there rather than having to pick and paw with all the letters uh, normally. So it's actually pretty cool. It's, you know, as I said, not entirely useful, but it'll be inter interesting to see if they put in more uh, uses for the keyboard beyond that. Maybe we'll get a Mario Teaches Typing sequel or something to that effect. Uh, now, I did try out the mouse, and unfortunately, there's no real system around that let me use it any real way. Like, I couldn't put it in and then, like, choose the letters with that, or really notice any sort of difference with uh, putting in a USB mouse. And so, that there's nothing really with that. But again, we got the keyboard here, and it's like, uh, you know, just do a little quick thing here, like, subscribe. <laughs> No, no, no. I also asked Andre to see if the keyboard would work in The Legend of Zelda, and sure enough, when we go to name our horse, we can use it. So it seems to work with any typing functionality on the Switch. However, that is kind of limited, but we want to thank NeoMu on Twitter for pointing out this functionality. Anyway, so just a little quick thing, again, not entirely useful, but just a cool little thing about what the Switch can work with. So with all that said, thank you guys very much for watching, and of course, be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on the Switch and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.